Okay, let's us repeat the same question but with another method, elimination method. Okay, so what we have to do for elimination method, we have, first we have to make sure that we have the same order. Same order in the sense that, let's say here is X and then Y and then equals to number, this thing has to be in the same exact order. Is it okay to follow this order? Yes, Y and then X and then number. No problem. Whichever that you like. Okay? So, but uh, mostly we are going to do like this pattern. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to rearrange this into that pattern. So, and, and we are going to write down below of this. Okay? So, we say, uh, so you have to move that 3X to the other side, it becomes negative 3X. Okay, so if you see the pattern here is X and then Y and then equals to number. Do the same thing for this, this, this one. So, plus Y equals to 1. Okay, you move that negative uh, 3X to the side, become negative 3. You do not move the Y because you are moving mean cross the equal. So, the Y is still 1. Okay, alright. So, now in this case, uh, that is first, okay, order, okay, we have done the order, but the, set, the, the first thing is order, the second two is that coefficient, 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 we have to make one of the coefficient of the algebra as equal. Uh, means that in this case uh, x with x must have the same coefficient now here is 1x here negative 3x 2y 1y none of them are equal okay so uh, in order to make the coefficient equal so i am going to okay i am going to re just rewrite as notes eh Okay, uh, what I mean by that step. So, I'm going to multiply this with 2. So, when I multiply the whole equation with 2, uh, I'm going to rewrite eh? x plus 2y equal to 16. I did not, I did not multiply anything here, but I multiply this with 2. So, I have 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6x. 2 times y, we have 2y. Then 2 times 1 equals to 2. Now, can you see that we have the coefficient are equal? Okay. So, since the coefficient are equal. Okay. So, why is it called elimination? Because... The, 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 the algebra with same coefficient, we are going to eliminate them. How to eliminate? Because 2y and 2y, we minus. What is 2y minus 2y? Zero. Eliminated. Okay? So, but other parts also, other coefficient or here, you must have minus also. In this case, x, 1x, minus negative 6. So, you press calculator, 1 minus then negative 6. They give you 7. So, 7x. This one, no more. And then 16 minus 2 will be 14. Ah. So, you almost got it. That is, you almost got the value of x. So, this is, we eliminate the y, what we have left is x. So, we could solve, we say 7x equal to 14. So, x will be 14 over 7, which is equals to 2. So, that is one of the value. And then, in order to find um, the other, the other uh, algebra, in this case is y, you should substitute x equal to 2 into 
either this equation or this equation or this equation or this equation whichever is your pick okay so for example i take the the, the on the top one x plus 2y equals to 16 so i'm going to replace x as 2 so replace x as 2 so we say 2 plus 2y equals to 16 okay so then since this is linear equation in one algebra we have to separate between algebra and number the number you bring to the other side so we have 2y equals to 16 minus 2 so the value of 2y will be 14 so y will be 14 over 2 which is 7 so we have the, the value x equals to 2 y equals to 7 alright ok now let us look at question number 1b x plus y equals 5 to x minus y equals 22 look at the coefficient of x 1 coefficient of y 1 coefficient of x 2 coefficient of y negative 1 okay so even though it looks like none of them are equal but we could consider y as having the same number even though this is negative 1 and this is 1 so what we can do immediately we just write down this underneath this to x and then minus y equals 22 but so we can eliminate we could eliminate y by saying we add now we add in order to eliminate if one of the symbol here is positive and another is negative one and negative one you if you add plus you get zero one plus negative one you get zero uh, so in this case y is eliminated plus here so you could see now that sum of the equation is better to use elimination than substitution okay so you add here you get 3x you add here you get 0y 0y don't write and then 5 plus 22 will be 27 so x will be 27 over 3 which is 9 okay so, um, if I were to write this is 1 and this is 2, okay? Uh, why we have to write this? You don't have to. But it's better to write down because we want to, to tell you how I, where, which equation that I take. Okay? So, now I'm replacing x into 2. Okay? Um, replace or substitute 9 here at the 2 so i have to say 2 times 9 minus y equals to 22 so we have 18 minus y equals to 22 so in this case because y is single and negative i bring it to the other side become y here is positive so 18 minus 22 so value of y will be negative 4 and see we say x equals 9 y is negative 4 so for your info this equation so question 1b is better off using elimination method much easier than substitution okay so for c i'll move this underneath here x minus 3y equals to 2 and then, in order to eliminate the y, we have to plus add. So, 3y plus negative 3y, you get 0y. So, 4x uh, plus 1x will be 5x. So, 8 plus 2 will be 10. So, the value of x will be 10 over 5, which is and then in order to know the other value i will replace x as 2 here so we say 2 minus 3 times 
Oh, we do not know why yet. Equals to 2. So we move, I'll move that negative 3y to the other side. So we have 3y. So I move 2 here, 2 minus 2. So the value of 3y will be 0. So y will be 0 over 3. So the value of y will be 0. Therefore, x is 2, y is 0. Okay, that is uh, the correct one. Okay, for D, coefficient of X is 8, here is 5, coefficient of Y is 3, and here is 2. None of them are similar. So, what we have to do in order to use elimination? We have to multiply both of the equation. For example, if I want to eliminate Y, I multiply the first equation with 2, I multiply the second equation with 3. Okay, do you see that the why the reason? It's because 2 times 3 will be 6. 3 times 2 will be 6. So we need to have y, coefficient of y, to have similar coefficient, and then we could eliminate the y. If you want to eliminate the x, you multiply the first equation with 8 and this one is with 8 and this one with 5. Okay, let's see. Okay, you multiply this with 2, everything. 8 multiplied by 2, you get 16x. 3y times 2 will be 6y. Negative 4 times 2 will be negative 8. And uh, underneath of this equation, you, multi you multiply this and then write down here. So 3 times 5 will be 15. And then 3 times 2 will be 6. And then 3 times 8 will be... 3 times 6 will be 18. Okay? So we see that we have both of them 6y. So, and both are positive. So just minus. So 6y minus 6y, eliminated. And then, if this is minus, you have minus here. You have to minus here. 16 minus 15 will be 1. So you don't write 1x, but you write down. Okay? So negative 8, negative 16 will be negative 26. So that is the value of x. Because this is only 1x. Now, in order to know y, you could replace this x as negative 26 into this equation, or this equation, or this equation, or this equation. So, I pick this one. Why? No reason. Okay, I just pick any one of any one of them. Okay, so we replace 8x. x we replace with negative 26 plus 3y equals negative 4. So, this 26 times 8 will be 208, 208 negative, plus 3y equals to negative 4. And then you have to bring this to the other side. So we have to say 3y is negative 4 plus 208. It will be 204. So y will be 204 divided by 3. 204 divided by 3 will be 68. So y will be 68. So we write down x, therefore x is equals to negative 26, y is 68.